Welcome back, my friends and neighbors. I actually recorded this video already, but uh, something happened with the microphone and it sounded absolutely terrible. It never got turned on or I don't know, something like that. Anyway, so this is the second time around me recording this video for you guys because I wanted to make sure it was right. I'm actually on vacation right now, so I had to sneak away for a little bit from my family so I could give you guys an update. This is why this video is a little bit later than usual. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about was, I'm on vacation! We've been having a great time over the past week or so and I've got another week to do, uh, to go uh, do all kinds of day trips and things like that. It's been really great. Uh, I actually work as a paramedic, so we don't get a lot of time off. We're very busy with work. Um, and so this is nice having uh, some time off with my family. Anyway, I wanted to update you guys on how my flight training is going. I haven't posted a lot of videos about my flying recently, and one reason is because those videos aren't very popular, which, you know, it doesn't surprise me that who wants to watch a guy fly around in a beat up old airplane, circles around the pattern, or go out and do maneuvers or things like that. It's just, it's not very interesting when you can watch, you know, Joe Schmo go fly his Honda jet or his Citation or something like that, you know, to really cool destinations. Nobody wants to watch me fly, and that's okay. I'm fine with that, because I like to watch me fly. So, uh, my flight training, uh, I've, I've had to dial it back just a little bit, because over the past year, I've had some real financial hurdles. One of the things that happened was I smashed my truck, and I found out that through some happenstance, it never got added to my insurance policy. So the insurance company, they jettisoned and haven't paid a dime and they're not going to pay anything. So that's a $20,000 bummer right there. That's a huge hit. Something else my wife and I did uh, around this time last year was that we took on the risk and attempted to um, buy a restaurant. Uh, and so for a month, we got into the restaurant business and we actually decided to go ahead and start running it early and then our finances fell through uh, and uh, we couldn't make that happen and we lasted for a month. So that's another $25,000 hit. So in the past year, we've had almost $50,000 in things happen that we have to kind of climb out of. So I'm still flying, but right now I'm flying about once a month and I'll try to get some, I'll try to get some better footage of me flying. I've actually got a setup now where I can get some cockpit audio going on. So we'll try to do something interesting. And I actually have an update that'll be coming in the future. Stay tuned for it. Something about my flight training is going to be changing and I'm really excited about it. The third thing I wanted to talk to you as an update um, is I kind of wanted to let you know that this channel, as you know, so far is really molding into um, what my vision for aviation is going to be for myself personally and my journey to choosing which aircraft I want to buy or which one I want to build most likely because I'm really excited about the idea of building my own airplane and I've been doing a lot of research lately and if you've seen some of my previous videos I've gone over the Vans uh, RV10 and TSI I did a comparison there and then I did uh, the Kit Fox 7, and I've got so many more planned for you guys that I am interested in researching that I'll give you my quick five minute opinion on. If you wanna go watch those videos, that's totally cool. I'd love to have you watch them. They're not very long. They're literally five or six minutes at most. And they're the highlights of what I think and how I think it would fit in with my mission. In fact, I even have a video on my mission. I'd put cards up here and, and links up here or is it over there uh, but YouTube has been messing that up with me lately and so I have to figure that out but anyway so what I have planned for the future is I've got more videos especially one video that I want to share with you coming up I'm not going to tell you which aircraft it is mystery aircraft but there's an airplane that somebody commented on one of my videos recently and said hey I'm building this airplane you know, and this is why, you know, I want to go fast, you know, I want to go far, and I want it to be affordable. This is what I decided to do, and I looked at it, and I went, whoa, that's different. And I was like, that's not something I'd be interested in. But the more I looked into it, and the more I realized all the benefits to it, 
I thought, man, I should give this a second look. So that's what I've been doing this entire past week in my spare time that I've been on vacation. I've been looking at this plane and dreaming about this plane. I've also got some videos coming up about some more affordable power plants. I went on Van's website the other day, looking at the RV10 again, kind of batting that around, realizing that it needs a pretty big engine in that thing, which is why you can carry, you know, haul so much weight and go so fast. I realized I went on the Van's pricing page for their special discount pricing for the experimental engines, and I believe it was the IO540 is $64,000. I'm like, are you kidding? This is insane. This is why people can't afford to own airplanes. So I'm looking into some alternates where there are companies out there building aircraft engines out of high performance automobile engines. Just uh, there's one aircraft company in particular that I'm gonna look at uh, called Viking. And they're taking Honda four cylinder engines and building almost 200 horsepower power plants out of them built for aircraft. They use a gear reduction drive and all that jazz and it's really cool and it's under $20,000 for a brand new motor ready to go from what I understand. It's insane. You can look at it on their website. I'm going to do a video on them and probably some others coming up. I don't mean these little 100 horsepower things which are totally fine if you want like a Kit Fox or you know a Zenith Anything like that's really cool, but I'm talking about some serious meat on this motor. Almost 200 horsepower, that's nothing to sneeze at. That'll drive the airplane that I'm looking at 160 knots or more. Stay tuned. I'm really excited about it, and I think you should be too. So, keep following me. If you like this and you want to see what's coming up, give me a like and a subscribe so you can get notified when I've got some new content. And I'll see you next time.